We've got five conditions that would cause different alert dialogs to come up. First condition is if the guest number is an empty string, if you didn't enter anything and you just said enter, <clears throat> we tell you, hey, take a guess. And if the guest number is null, that means that you hit cancel or just close the dialog. And we tell you, hey, do not hit cancel. Now, if, uh, if you guessed it correctly, Ray, we alert you with you win. Um, too, too low or too high, we tell you that too. There's actually one last condition. The last condition is if you don't enter a number. So I'll hit take a guess here. Shh, number is 18. Uh, well, what if I typed ABC, ABCV, <laughs> and now I clicked uh, OK? Um, it should tell me something like, hey, you didn't enter a number, or that's not good at all. <clears throat> but let's see what actually happens. The guess was too high. Hmm, kind of doesn't make sense. ABC is not necessarily greater than whatever our number was. Let's fix that. <clears throat> There's a built-in function in JavaScript called is and a n and what that means is is the following a not a number and that's perfect for us we want to know if what you entered is not a number so let's add it right here um, if they've entered an empty string we'll know if they've entered null we'll know by by hitting cancel now here's a great place to do our additional check for is not a number we want to do it before we're actually comparing against the number because then we might end up with the wrong result. So we're going to type is n a n parentheses. Now notice the n is capitalized, the first n and the second n is capitalized. So in, in parentheses, we're going to type in our guest number variable. That way we'll know if that guest number is not a number. And if that's the case, we need to alert the user. Hey, you didn't and you did not enter a number. Now let's try it. So take a guess. Shh, numbers eleven. And I'm gonna type in A B C. Hey, you did not enter a number. We did it. Always check to see that it works properly too in the normal case. So we're going to hit OK, and now I'm going to try 11. You win with 11.